Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first ever Sony Vegas tutorial on how to clone yourself. And welcome to another video of the six round vlogs. And apparently, well, welcome to the Arctic. Yesterday, absolutely no snow. This must be Canada because today we're expecting 15 to 20 centimeters. So right after this, I gotta shovel this very, very big driveway. It's, it's absolutely huge, watch. See, it's a very big driveway. Anyways guys, this is not gonna be your average six round type of vlog. In fact, it's not a vlog at all. I've been getting some comments on some of my videos about some of the clone work that I do, where it's me and of course another me in the video simultaneously. And people are always wondering how I do that. I thought it'd be a good idea to give you an instructional video on how the hell I actually do that using Sony Vegas. So what we're gonna do is learn how to do this clip. Are you ready? Count it down, boys. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Do that? Well, now's your time, but for simplicity, we're gonna do this one. One, two, three. Whee! Ah! <laughs> nice! Oh, yeah. Yeah, we can't do it because we're. Right, hey, we're just doing the clone thing. Trust me, it's a lot less work. But once you master it, you can clone yourself as many times as you want. So, guys, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first ever Sony Vegas tutorial on how to clone yourself. I'll see you on the other side after I snow plow shovel this <sighs> train wreck of a driveway. See you in a bit. Welcome to the first tutorial. Obviously, it's in my car. I don't know if I should make this a thing. Tutorials in your car. That'd be pretty fucking dope. And it would be pretty proprietary to the sixth round because I'm such a moron. As you can tell here, I am using Sony Vegas 14. I want to emphasize that this same task, this same thing that we are going to be doing will be able to be used in the earlier versions. So 14, 13, all the way back to 10. And of course, the newer versions in 15 and 16. So first things first, I have my clip that I have already imported into Sony Vegas. So I'm gonna drag it into the playing zone, whatever. I'm not a guru. All right, so we're gonna drag that in here. I know there's four characters that I have in this video, but just for the sake of simplicity and for the sake of the video, so you guys don't get bored and run away, I'm just gonna show you two versions of myself. So, and I also wanna let you know, the most important critical thing to cloning yourself is setting your camera up on a table or a tripod, whatever the case may be, hit record, and don't ever touch the camera, even including your wardrobe changes if you wanna wear something completely different, but it's obviously evident that it's you, because the moment you touch it, even by a smidge, the whole masking process is totally gonna be ruined. So basically what I did in this video is I set it up on the tripod, even with my four guys, but for the sake of obviously simplicity, the two guys, and I just played both sides without touching the camera, without touching the tripod, even hitting record. Because obviously when you hit record and hit record again to restart it, you could have moved the camera just a smidgen, and like I said, the whole masking process will be defeated. It'll be over, it'll be a wrap, and you'll have to start again from scratch. So first things first, I'm just gonna play one side of it. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, let's go. One, two, Three. Okay, pause. I know what you're thinking. Whoever's watching this thinks you belong in a mental institution. And to be honest, if there wasn't a camera set up there, you probably do belong in a mental institution and you need help ASAP, so go get it. For this video, I'm obviously making it more complex, which you don't need to do. But I am doing a conversation with myself. When you merge it together, when you stack the layers on top of each other and you do the masking, which we are gonna do now as soon as I shut the hell up, you're gonna be able to see that, ah, that's why I did that because I'm actually communicating. And that's the hard part about this too. Sometimes you gotta have scripts and you gotta remember what the other clone said so you don't F up your lines. So I'm just gonna fast forward when I actually have the two clips trimmed and ready to layer on top of each other. I'm just gonna snip them ahead of time so you don't have to see that. So let's just fast forward. Cool, I have my clips, I'm ready to go. So what I'm gonna do now is because they're not gonna be side by side, the clips gonna be layered on top of each other, we need to add in an additional video track and an additional audio track. You will need to repeat this process for however many clones you want to be in the video. So I'm just gonna right click here, I'm gonna add a video track, I'm gonna right click 
below on the audio track and I'm gonna add another audio track. I'm gonna take this audio track, move it up to the new one I just input it, save with the video, put it over top. Now I'm completely layered. But obviously this is where the masking process comes in because I just put one stack on top of the other and you can no longer see the other Jesse. So what we are going to do, this is very simple. There is a reason why I did it like this with the slides because the two Jesse's never actually ever cross paths, which makes for an easy cloning process. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit this little square in the bottom right corner of that actual track called event pan slash crop. I'm gonna hit it. I'm gonna go to the bottom left where it says position and mask is grayed out. So I'm actually gonna click that box. Now I'm able to mask. Now it's gonna give me this pen cursor and it's gonna allow me to place dots around the object that you wanna actually mask out. So I'm gonna click around this Jesse. And just for the people at home, masking for simplistic explanation, that's the only thing that you want to see out of that video track. So the only thing I want to see out of this video track is this half right here with this Jesse with the orange chat and the slide looking all dope and stuff like that. Now, you can clear as day, see the other Jesse, but there is one very small problem. If I make this a little bit bigger, okay, to the naked eye, it's not gonna make a difference, but to those who are professionalists and perfectionists, this is gonna matter so much because you're gonna see, if you look really closely, that the video track has actually been cut. We don't want that. So to eliminate that, to blend the two scenes together, to mesh it smoothly, as smooth as possible anyways, I'm gonna go here to the left where it says feather type. Right now it's set to none. I'm gonna go to both, because what that means is I wanna get both video tracks and I want to kind of like feather them together nicely so it looks like it's one video track. Now we're gonna to go to feather percentage because right now it's zero so you still see the exact same thing. Now if we're gonna get ridiculous we're gonna go all the way to 50. It's gonna eliminate it completely but the only problem is is if there was an object around this area like another Jesse say which was the case when I had four Jesse's in this clip he would look like a friggin poltergeist. If I was feathering around here See what happens? Because the feathering is so high, it's actually blurring out some of my arm. Right now we can get away with this because there's no object in there that I want to actually keep in this area. I don't care, it's just sky, so that'll work for me. Now if I play that video. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, let's go. One, two, three. Now your small cloning scene is absolutely complete. The feathering's been done. The masking's been completely done. None of me is getting cut out on either side. And I obviously did that on purpose. That's why, like I said, the Jessies never actually come close to each other, which I've done before in the past, but it takes a lot more effort. And maybe we'll do that in another video. But that's it for the tutorial. Let's get the hell out of here. <sighs> this uh, driveway's all done. And that's a big ass driveway. Hope you liked the tutorial. Stay tuned for next week. Like and subscribe. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of the new content that I just put out this week. I love you. We're gonna see you next week. Hit the notification bell. Get straight up, six round vlogs. We're dope. We do everything. We're versatile. We're ambidextrous in terms of like vlog stuff, I guess. I guess that makes sense. Peace out. Thank you so much. Stay tuned for Wednesday.